So guess what's brewing in Hollywood? Director Dan Trachtenberg, the brain behind Prey, is back in action with a new flick titled Badlands in the Predator universe. Remember Prey? It skipped theaters and went straight to Hulu, but whoa did it make waves. Critics loved it, and it even scored some shiny awards. Now, Deadline spilled the beans that Trachtenberg's diving back into the Predator pond with Badlands, set to start filming later this year. Disney's all over this one. Wait, not a, what are you doing, Nada? Nada, stop! Where are you going? I gotta go get us those horses. Making it a big deal for their studio, 20th Century Studios. And get this, they're already on the hunt for the perfect lead actor or actress. Plot? Shrouded in mystery, my friend. We've got zilch on who's starring or when this story's taking place. But here's the kicker. Disney's eyeing a theatrical release this time. Cha-ching! But wait, there's more. Rumor has it that a Prey 2 might be on the horizon, going back to the franchise's roots with Amber Midthunder potentially reprising her role. That's a first in Predator history. Can you believe it? It sure seems like we're on the brink of diving deeper into the Predator universe, doesn't it? With Prey shaking things up by taking us back to 1719 on the Great Plains, facing off against a Comanche warrior and a high-tech alien predator, it's clear the franchise is exploring new territory. Dan Trachtenberg, the mastermind behind Prey, hinted at exciting possibilities for the Predator saga. He's all about keeping things fresh, suggesting that future films might not follow the traditional sequel route. In fact, he teased about the potential for unique storytelling even within the end credits. In an interview, Trachtenberg mentioned that while Prey feels complete in its own right, it opens up a world of opportunities for sequels with its innovative approach. So, while we're eagerly crossing our fingers for what's next, it's safe to say the Predator-verse might be gearing up for some seriously cool adventures. Okay, so let's talk about one of the big mysteries that's been bugging Predator fans for ages. What the heck happened to Dutch after the first movie? I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character survived that epic showdown, but then he just vanished from the franchise. Now, considering how the government got all tangled up in Predator stuff later on, it's pretty hard to believe they just let Dutch slip away into retirement without a peep. I mean, this guy's a prime witness, right? So even if Badlands doesn't make Dutch the main focus, it'd be super cool if they threw us a bone and explained what really went down with him after that wild encounter. I'm talking about a little closure here, folks. Let's hope they're listening and ready to spill the beans on Dutch's whereabouts. All right, let's dig into another burning question that's been lingering in Predator lore. What's the deal with Detective Mike Harrigan after Predator 2? This guy was knee-deep in Yautja business, getting up close and personal with those extraterrestrial hunters. But then what? Did he make it out alive? And did his warning about the Predators returning ever come true? Now, Harrigan's not just some random dude. He's got some serious insight into the whole Predator situation, especially since he was part of the first official government investigation into those alien baddies. Plus, he even hopped on board their ship, for crying out loud. So it'd be pretty awesome if Badlands could shed some light on what happened to Harrigan and whether his prophetic words about the Predators making a comeback were on point. Talk about tying up loose ends and giving us some closure, here's hoping Badlands is up for the challenge. All right, let's mull over another intriguing question. What happened to Royce and Isabel after the chaos on the Game Preserve planet in Predators? You know, that wild ride that took the action off Earth for the first time? Now, those two survivors put up a serious fight against those nasty Predators, but then what? Are they still out there, stranded in space with no way home? Seems like a pretty rough deal after all they went through, right? Badlands could totally swoop in and tackle this mystery head-on. Maybe they'll give us a straight-up answer about Royce and Isabel's fate, or they could drop a sneaky Easter egg hinting at their return to Earth. Either way, it'd be awesome to get some closure on their interstellar adventure. Here's to hoping Badlands delivers the goods. Now let's talk about Shane Black's take on the Predator saga with The Predator. Now, despite the hype around Black's return after three decades, the movie kind of fell flat for many fans. But hey, it's not all bad news. Sure, there were some rough patches with the dialogue and characters, but hear me out. There are still some juicy plot points in there begging to be explored. Like what's the deal with that Predator killer suit, and why was it just left lying around? And let's not forget about humanity snagging some Predator tech. That's got to lead to something, right? 
Now, while the Predator might not have hit all the right notes, Badlands could swoop in and pick up the pieces. It could be the perfect opportunity to delve into these lingering questions, even if they decide to give the Predator itself the cold shoulder. Here's hoping Badlands steps up and gives us some answers to keep the Predator legacy alive and kicking. All right, let's tackle the biggie. How will Badlands tap into the legacy of Prey, and could we see some familiar faces making a comeback? Now here's the kicker. Badlands seems to be veering off in a completely different direction from Prey, ignoring its story setup altogether. Kind of surprising, considering Prey knocked it out of the park with critics. But hey, don't count them out just yet. Even though Badlands is taking us to a whole new time period, the fact that both films share the same director, Dan Trachtenberg, suggests there's got to be some connection lurking in there somewhere. Whether it's a subtle nod or a full-blown character return, the link is bound to be there. So while we might not see a direct continuation of Prey's tale, I'd bet my bottom dollar that Badlands is cooking up something special to honor its predecessor. Who knows, maybe we'll get a surprise cameo or two to keep us on our toes. Which brings us to the juicy details about Badlands' connection with Prey 2. Here's the scoop. Not only do we have Badlands on the horizon, but Prey 2 is also in the works, both with Dan Trachtenberg at the helm. Talk about double trouble, right? Now, with these two projects brewing, fans are naturally wondering if there's a link between them. I mean, could they be part of the same story universe, or are they just nodding to each other from afar? Here's the twist. While Badlands and Prey 2 might not share the same timeline, the fact that Trachtenberg's involved in both suggests there's got to be something connecting them, even if it's just subtle Easter eggs or nods. But hey, who knows? Maybe there's a bigger picture awaiting to unfold. All right, let's tackle the burning question. Why does Earth seem to be a magnet for predators, especially during our hottest years? First off, it's worth noting that predators aren't just fixated on Earth. We've seen glimpses of their vast universe and encounters with other species in the franchise. So why Earth? That's the million-dollar question. In Predator 2, we get a peek at their skull collection, showcasing their encounters with various species. With all these options out there, what makes Earth so special? Maybe it's because we humans put up a decent fight, despite being seen as less intimidating prey. Understanding this could shed light on the Predator's motivations and add depth to their character. Now, about those hottest years. It seems like Predators prefer to visit when the weather is scorching. It's their comfort zone, so to speak. But hey, this clashes with their cold-loving antics in Alien vs. Predator, right? Figuring out this weather conundrum could give humanity a leg up in the fight against these formidable hunters and add some extra spice to the Predator lore. Well, that's it for today. What burning questions do you have about the Predator franchise? Are there any theories or plot points you're itching to discuss? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more updates, and ring the bell to stay in the loop. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled for any lurking Predators and happy hunting!